Hey guys, hopefully you're doing well. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try to do another movie review. I don't know how well the other one did, did, or didn't do. Hopefully you saw it and enjoyed it. It was for one of my all-time favorite horror movie anthologies, Creep Show. But this was actually the movie I wanted to do my first review for. I'm a huge fan. It's from 1985, it's called Crime Wave. It's a really silly, you know, tongue-in-cheek comedy. Um, anyways, it's directed by Sam Raimi and written by Sam Raimi and the Coen brothers. Um, many of you know those names because Sam Raimi, this was his second film after The Evil Dead was a huge hit for him. And the Coen brothers, you know, they went on to do Raising Arizona and The Big Lebowski and Fargo and yada yada, a whole bunch of good stuff. But I always wondered why this movie never got any real notoriety. Actually, it seems to be like it was hidden under a rock. And um, even when I tried to find it, it took me a lot of years. I've been on this planet for a minute, so I used to frequent the video stores and I looked for this one high and low. And um, I never found it. Then one day, I just happened to be at my uncle's house and he collected VHS. So I was looking through his movies and then I saw one called Crime Wave, and I was like, couldn't be it. Impossible. How, how have I been searching for years for this thing, and it's here on my uncle's shelf? What are the probabilities of that? Well, anyway, I pulled it out. Lo and behold, there's Brian James on the cover, and I was like, oh, my God, it is it. So I, I went ahead and watched it right then and there at his house. But anyways, I asked him, could I buy it from him? And he was like, it's not for sale. And I was like, oh man. But anyway, long story short, he traded to me for Rosemary's Baby, um, which is also a horror classic for anyone who hasn't ever seen that. But um, yeah. Like I was saying, I've been hunting this thing down for a lot of years, and I saw it, I fell in love with it. But, I, over the years, I'm like, well, how come nobody knows about this movie? And um, why isn't it on, you know, Blu-ray or DVD at the time? But, I was like, man, it's like they're ashamed of it or something. Recently, thanks to my brother Aaron, I saw a thing, the making of it, documentary or whatever you want to call it. Somebody talking about the horrible circumstances of making this thing. They didn't know how to make a movie. They did Evil Dead themselves over a four year time span with their own money on their weekends off and stuff. And they um, just shot a horror movie, you know. And this movie, they actually had a budget. They had people waiting, you know, for the product to be finished, uh, all that good stuff. And they didn't know how to work this. So anyway, they were, um, you know, in their own private hell at the time. And then apparently it just kept falling apart and they had to film it in the winter in Detroit. And it was like freezing cold and blah, blah, blah. Uh, and then on top of that, um, uh, Brian James, who is, not, you know, he was on Blade Runner. They were saying he was seriously coked out of his head during the whole thing, so. And uh, Bruce Campbell, he was gonna get the lead, but then when um, they made him audition for the part, they said, there's no way in the world he's getting the lead on this, which is a good thing he didn't because he, I don't 
myself, I don't think he would have fit the character because he's more nerdy and what have you. But anyways, you can find this on Tubi right now. They just put it on Tubi and I watched it. But um, it's gotten a Blu-ray release in the last year or so. So I'm guessing that's why it's on Tubi. But anyway, this movie single-handedly almost ruined Sam Raimi, Bruce Campbell, you know, Robert Tamber, uh, Tamber, whatever his name is, producer, the Coen brothers all involved. The guy that played the lead actor, this was his only uh, lead role in a movie. But anyway, it is funny. It's a great movie, actually. But, uh, you know, at, at that time... Uh, it was looking to ruin a lot of careers. Uh, but the Coen brothers bounced back by making uh, Blood Simple, if you've never seen that. Brilliant movie. And um, Sam Raimi and Bruce Campbell, the way they survived is they made Evil Dead 2. So anyway, this movie is about a handyman or security guy, I forget what he is. Well, anyway, he installs security in these buildings, and these, uh, in, I don't know where it's supposed to be, if it's set in Detroit or what, can't recall. But anyway, he uh, likes this girl, but anyway, that's a secondary part of the story. But uh, this fellow, he has a business, and uh, he decides he wants to sell the business out from under his, his, you know, partner. And then he thinks, well, I better do something to where he won't, you know, try to get his portion of it. So he hires these local exterminators to exterminate his partner. <laughs> so a lot of... Uh, Three Stooges type of humor going on throughout. And, um, you know, Bruce Campbell, he, he plays a secondary role. He plays this girl's boyfriend, Ronaldo, Ronaldo. And this is who the, the security guard fellow, he likes this girl. And Ronaldo, played by Bruce Campbell, is this obnoxious jerk, you know. Whenever he first meets the dude, he goes, he, you know, he puts his hand out to get a handshake. Instead, uh, Bruce Campbell's character smoking a cigarette. I think it's supposed to be in the 40s. And he, like, stamps it out on his palm. And he's like, ah! You know, as, as a, would we all. Some of us might even come back with a, you know. But, uh, anyways, he doesn't do that. He's a nerdy guy, and he ends up getting put on death row for this guy's execution. And um, I won't give it all away, but anyways, it's fun. It's a lot of fun if you've never seen it. On IMDb, they give it a 5.7, which is good out of 10, you know, almost a 6. But at that time... Like I said, this thing apparently almost, you know, left a lot of people hungry in the cold, as it were. But, uh, yeah, if, you, uh, if you're into that kind of thing, if you think you might enjoy it, seek it out. You know, it's on Blu-ray, but it's on Tubi right now, Tubi.com, T-U-B-I.com. They show a lot of good movies for free, but, um... Yeah, you know if you if you're uh, if you're in the mood to laugh at some silly stuff, maybe it's right up your alley. But anyways, I'm glad they made this movie, even though it almost tanked all of their careers, because I have literally seen this movie a hundred times without batting an eyelash. But um, yeah. Maybe next time I'll do Creep Show 2. 
since I did creep show one the first time around. But anyways, I love Sam Raimi. I'm a huge Bruce Campbell fan. I've watched almost all of his stuff, his offerings as it were. And of course the Coen brothers, you know, they have got a body of work that just keeps giving. Oh brother, where art thou? That's a one that's pretty much a household name. But anyways, thanks guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully it was informative. Draw me some comments if you would like, uh, or you know what? Draw me some comments and tell me if you'd like me to watch some and review it. Cause I am a movie buff and I will watch just about anything. Um, you know, subscribe, like, and if you're also a fan of poetry, you know, I, I uh, record poems all the time for my books and I have books for sale if you're interested in that kind of stuff. Thanks guys. Be blessed. Bye.